This is iron bark, one of the hardest wood species on the planet. And today we're gonna attempt to build a cheese board for our friends of Timbercon. And what better way to test this brand new Toccata template bits than putting them against the hardest wood of Australia. Okay, first things first, let's cut it to size. So I want it relatively long, so I might have to take off the fence here. Okay, next step is gonna go and uh, clean up here the surface a little bit and see how the wood actually looks. The both sides are surface now. Now we're gonna go to sanding, make it nice and smooth. This thing is now reasonably surfaced. We used our planer and then we used our belt sander and it looks, it's nice and smooth now. Now we have to just clean up the edges and we're gonna do that on the table saw. This is really hard wood. What we do next is we trace out our handle. We rough cut it with the jigsaw. We flush trim it with our brand new rudder bit. Jesus, my jigsaw was struggling. I'm really excited to see now what the bits can do. Okay guys, so we are flush trimming that now with our brand spanking new Toccata bits from Timbercon. Timbercon sent them to me to test them because they are brand spanking new. As of recording of this video, they have not been released. They have two different blades on it with two different angles, which, which is kind of the principle of like a spiral bit as well. They look really, really different to the normal bits I have. So these ones are the Toccata bits that I usually use. Let's see how they really work. Wow, that's a huge difference. Look at those shavings. It's nicely sh shaven off and cut off. It's not sawdust, it's shavings, which is awesome. So it barely produced any sawdust, but it's mostly produced those shavings, which is insane. Ah, this, is, this is just insane. Look at this, like so happy with it, so happy. Very cool bits, very cool. So that board is finally done. Wow, this wood is super, super, super hard. I think it's iron bark. It's just insanely hard to sand and insanely hard to work with. What we do next is we're gonna put a little bit of an engraving on it and then we're gonna finish it off. Jesus Christ, what happened here? Oh my God. Oh. Okay, so when I left this yesterday, it was nicely done. I watched it till about here and then I thought like, okay, that's, a, that's fine, it's everything working well. This morning I came in and I, it looked like this. So I'm also not super happy how the surfacing turned out with the hand planer that I used. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that into my router slat and then we flatten it off and then we do it again. So we just did a test piece that worked super well. And like, let's try that out. Hopefully this time we're not gonna ruin that project. This iron bike looks amazing now. I love the surface, how everything turned out with the router sled. It looks amazing. Also like the engraving turned out great. I love how deep it went. I love how the detail in it, it looks amazing. But the one thing is, Timbercon is green. So we're taking care of that. Next. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna put some olive green epoxy with a little bit of diamond sparkling to that timber cone here. 
but I will try to not get anything into this tagline because if you put something in here, you won't be able to read it anymore. Epoxy has to be very well mixed, okay? If you don't mix it correctly, then we're gonna have an issue with not curing. What? How did this happen? It's a super funny thing right now. One of the nail holes here, you can see that. Look through to the other side. Okay, lucky that that did just soak up all of it. This was an awesome build, guys. I really like how it turned out. I liked how the Timbercon turned out. My MVP are those brand spanking new dual cut bits. They are awesome. Check them out on the Timbercon website. They are worth every cent. So if you like this video, you will absolutely love one of these ones. As usual, I appreciate you. Now get out of here because I need to practice a little more.